And to get back to the original question, what do you mean double click? In XP, double click is covered in mouse overview, which you find by going to help and clicking on index and typing in the index mouse overview. Mouse pointer, mouse pointer, nope, mouse, wait a minute, no, you type in just mouse, there we is, there it is, and here you find overview, and down here it tells you to double click, etc., how to point to an object on the screen. You could also find that, I found it once by typing in the word double, D-O-U-B, double clicking right here. You click display, and it says adjust the double click speed for your computer, etc., etc., etc. You wander around, and it gives you various places that you eventually find a description of what double clicking means. Learn to use your index in the help window, it is a wealth of information. The next subject is, are you sure, the next question is, are you sure I won't break it? There's a lot of paranoia in beginners of computer, using computers. Sometimes it has to do with uh, their significant other and uh, what they're afraid is going to happen to them if they dump the significant other's uh, work that was uh, left on the screen. Well... It is possible to do that, yes, it is possible to dump your significant other's work, but it, you really aren't going to break your computer. Uh, the answer is, yes, I am sure you won't break it. Uh, when a computer is running a program and displaying something, like this document that I have displayed here, that document is being displayed in the random, am random access memory which is where the, the program that, this is, that, that is running this window, Microsoft Word, that's where it's running. It's running in RAM. The basic program itself is not, even if I erase this or totally dump this, this uh, window, or if my computer freezes while this is on the screen, if I go back and restart my computer, the program Microsoft Word has not been changed. It, it was on my hard drive. It just was opened and was running in RAM. And this document hasn't been changed unless I click File and Save or unless I go up here to and click the Save uh, icon after I have changed something on this screen. So, no, you're not going to break your computer. Finally, we get back to the first question. What's all that stuff on the screen? That's usually the kind of question I get when someone looks at their desktop. And they see all this stuff, all this stuff up here, and all this stuff down here, and all of this, and all of this, and all of this, and that. Well, they are all interesting things. These things up here can be any number of things. Most of them are probably shortcuts, like this one here. See the little arrow in the lower left-hand corner? That's a shortcut. Here's a shortcut to Verizon. Uh, there's a shortcut to Fidelity Active Trader Pro, etc., um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. There are lots of shortcuts on here on my on my desktop. There also can be files and folders. Um, here is a let's see. Here is a f here's a fo a file. If I double click on that. It's called a new text document. 
and it's a text document I never typed anything in. <laughs> it's a text document from Notepad. Somehow it got saved, and there is uh, there is where it was saved. It was saved on the on the desktop. Uh, here's a new folder. Uh, we double. Well, let, let's let's talk about how you can find out what these things are and how important they are. If you right-click on any one of them, let's go back to the Microsoft Office Word shortcut, and you right-click on that, one of the things that you get, it's always down at the bottom, is the opportunity to go to Properties, and that will show you the properties of this particular icon. It'll tell you what it is. It's a shortcut. It's the target is an application, and the target is Microsoft Office Small Business Edition 2000. And it'll tell you how to create and edit text and graphics and letters, etc. It tells you what this thing is. It's a shortcut to a particular application, and here's the application that it is a shortcut to. Uh, if I go to, uh, let's see, this thing over here, that's a shortcut to something else. I'll right-click on that. The properties say that it is a shortcut to Good Keywords version 2.0. That is an application called Good Keywords version 2.0, and this tells you where it is in my computer. If I put the type, touch the right arrow and then the left arrow and go back to the beginning of this, it shows me where it is. It's in C, Program Files, Softnik Technologies, which is a folder in Program Files, and under that is Good Keywords version 2, and there is the actual, uh, where the actual program is, and if you went into to that particular place in your computer and double clicked on this good keywords version 2 would start it's a it's an application it's a program uh, up to this new folder we'll right click on that we'll left click on properties and we'll see that it's a new folder size is zero bytes which means once again it's a new folder that somehow got up on my desktop and uh, is totally you know, it's not important. I can right-click on this and click delete. And I, I, I will. Are you sure you want to remove the folder, new folder, and move all its contents to the recycle bin? I say yes, I can, because there's absolutely nothing in that. Now, if, I, if I'm not really sure, let's go double-click on that new folder. It shows you there's nothing in it. It's a folder that has no files in it and no other folders in it. It's empty. So once again, I can right-click on that, and I can delete it. And I'll click Yes, and it is gone. It's gone to the recycle bin. I could get it back if I had to. Um, two other things up in this upper portion that you ought to know about. One is the recycle bin. It contains all the files and folders that you've deleted unless you have deleted them also from the recycle bin. And if you double click on that, eventually it will show you all the files and folders that have been deleted and depending upon what heading you have clicked on to, uh, to uh, sort by that particular heading. You can sort by the, the name and then it's all alphabetical here. Or you can sort by the date deleted and sorted again it goes at the in the other order see the date deleted this is the earliest March of 2005 which is when I got this computer to uh, today 12 16 2005 the new folder that I just deleted ha there it is and this tells you where they are and if you want to really get rid of that folder you can click on that right click on it and click delete and it will be gone 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 really gone so that's your recycle bin, and then there is my computer. You double click on that, and you get every, you get access to everything that's on your computer. Your local disk. You double click on C, and you get everything that's in C. Uh, you double you you go up one level, and you're back at C. I I a lot of people use my computer to find the files that are in their computer. I personally like Windows Explorer better, which is in Start, Programs, Accessories, and in Accessories it's over here in Windows Explorer. You click that and you get something that's a lot like my computer, but it's called 
it, it's it's called whatever whatever you're clicking on up here if it's if you click on desktop it'll say desktop and it'll show you everything that's on your desktop one of which is my documents uh, let's go back to desktop for just a minute and I'll show you there see there's my documents that's one of the things that's on here it'll also show you everything that was on desktop let's see this is uh, yeah here we are in desktop one of the things that is on there is is that um, uh, good keywords shortcut and all the other ones here that I that we looked at except right now you won't find one called um, new folder because that's now in the recycle bin so knowing how to get around into into Windows Explorer is something you should learn uh, I think I have another course on that somewhere on just how to use Windows Explorer so let's go to some other areas of this computer screen I have this set so that when I put my cursor up here this bottom thing disappears uh, but when I drop it down it it comes up and on that bottom section of your computer which you can actually move up to the side if you want but most people see it at the bottom there is the start key and from there you can go to help or programs or the recent documents that you have recently had open or your control panel which controls all the settings on your computer or help which we've had before so that's your start key then there's the quick launch part of the taskbar these are places where you can put icons to programs you use a lot I use Windows Explorer a lot so I have an icon to Windows Explorer and when I click Windows Explorer that icon Windows Explorer starts so all I have to do no matter what program I'm in no matter what I'm doing I just go down to the bottom and I can click any one of these programs that I want to start I have Quicken on there, I have uh, Internet Explorer, I have Windows Explorer, I have my Internet Service Provider, American Online, I have uh, Lotus 123 for Windows, I have Lotus 123 for DOS, I have all the stuff, I have Microsoft Word, all the stuff that I use quite often. Next over is your taskbar. All of these programs are running on my computer right now. Uh, Quicken is running on my computer right now. Um, this uh, I have a Lotus One Two Three for DOS program running on my computer right now. I have uh, this Microsoft Word running on my computer right now, which is where I've been going for all of these discussions. And right now I am talking to you about the desktop and shortcuts and and the recycle bin and and start the start menu. And right now we're on the we're on the taskbar and the running programs and the quick start program and going back again these are the programs that started automatically when your when your computer started up you there is a way to set those which is a another course for another day and finally there is the clock that tells you what day it is today Friday December 16th night 2005 and if I double click it I can change the time in my computer or change the time zone or whatever is appropriate so that is the end of the of the beginners and other endangered species subject the beginners and other endangered species uh, mini seminar for today I hope it helps you I wish you good computing